Hello. I'm back. Mr. Friday. And oh, look at the little man. Well, today we're going to be making a harness. Oh, look at my hair, it's all poofy. Uh, for a 3S GTE Link ECU uh, 2ZZ coil pack harness on my car. As you can see, hey, leave that alone. On my car, I have myself some coil packs. So I'm basically going to be copying this harness. I have it all laid out on my table, so the lengths and everything. I have some wire here that I already started. And I took it off from this old harness that I have. So basically everything is the same color, lengthwise everything. We got connectors. These are just regular, so I got these four pin connectors that go, let's get focus, focus, focus. Um, these right here, see if you can kind of focus, but they're just four pin connectors that go to the 2ZZ. Uh, four pin, DTM connectors. This is going to go towards the back of the in or the trunk compartment, so I can make, so it can be a quick release uh, connection if we do need to remove the ECU at any point. Uh, pretty much simple. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I am making it. Uh, what what wires go to what? And uh, pretty much install tomorrow. Um, and it's gonna, not going to be in my car, it's going to be in Gabe's car. So that's going to be fun. I'm just doing all the hard work now. He's going to do the exact same mods as I did on my valve cover by drilling that modification thing that I did. Uh, drilling, tapping the valve cover so it's a nice clean look. We don't have uh, spices from yet, but we can make that later on. Let's go ahead and get to work. So all these wires I already have cut. I'm glad that some already had junctions on them, so I don't have to worry about that. This is going to be my ground wire. This is for all the grounds. I have my power wire with the junction already. This is going to be power and my greens. My green and all my greens here. Oh, got one white, black. I have a black. Well, I got all four greens, and that's going to be for yeah, all my four greens right here, and that's going to be for signal to the ECU. And then this black one is going to be for uh, RPMs. Here I have my three wires, my power, my ground, and my uh, my signal. And with all three of these, I have my sheathing that I'm going to cover up. This is for number one, cylinder number one. Look who's here, it's Gabe. Look at his white legs. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Wide open. Sorry guys.
sorry for the mess on the table, but this is what happens when wiring is being done. Uh, right now I have this sheathing, this braid sheathing, uh, wire, whatever you want to call it. This is all heat shrinked on. I, like I said, I wish I had the better ones with the glue inside, but we'll deal with that later. But here we are, number four, three, two, and one. Like I said, every one has its uh, place. Far left from the top of the connector right here, so there's a top. Negative, or so your negative's all the way on the left. Your signal is going to be right next to that. Number three is going to be empty, and then number one will be the power. That's on every single one of them. I routed them all together through here. So with the power, it's going to come off of here, somewhere in the middle. You're going to have this red wire that's going to connect. I joined them all together, this one single wire. This is going to go power on the coil. So the coil um, is going to get the power from that. This black wire. Everyone's going to think, oh, that's the negative. It is not the negative wire. This is for the rev counter. So this one's going to replace your rev, your RPM gauge wire to the ECU. So then you're going to have that cool sweeping action for, uh, for your RPM gauge. And then there's another wire that branches off. And it is this other black with yellow. This is going to be your ground wire. This is going to be grounded to somewhere on the block. This is the ground for all grounds for all the coils. All right. Then we have all four of these. This is, these are the green wires. These are signal wires. It's going to go to signal or on the ECU. We act, I actually had a uh, Link ECU plug and play and it is a 205 which is for a Gen 3. The Gen 3 has a different uh, circuit board than the 185, the Gen 2. Um, this is a Gen 2 engine, Gen 2 harness, so I repinned everything uh, to accept the 205. And these are going to go right into the, the pins for ignition 1, 2, 3, and 4. Sneeze. So those are going to get pinned, those are going to go onto this connector, this DTM connector for easy um, replacement or removal and that is that. Then we have this black wire, like I said, on this one next to the coil. This is going to be our RPM, um, RPM wire, so that's going to show, uh, talk to the computer and send it over to the RPM gauge. So there's that. So I'm gonna finish this up. Gabe's over here. He's working on his car. He's pulling out the, par uh, the spark plug wires, coil, everything, and then he's gonna install this bad boy in. So stay tuned. I'm gonna put this connector on, DTM connectors. All right, everyone, so sorry for not showing a lot of what we're doing, but I'm just pretty much routing everything where it needed to be. Here's that connector for all of the um, coils. These are all the signal wires. This is the black wire, like I said earlier, this was for the tack, which I soldered and into one of the connectors to the ECU and how I determine that is through here on this paper so what I did I looked for a uh, an auxiliary that I'm not using I use number five um, on here it says CL light but I actually put that on auxiliary eight and eight was five uh, because like I said, I've switched everything over from a ST185 Gen 2 Link ECU plug and play and then 
I repinned everything for a Gen 2 or Gen 3, the ST2 T05. So five in relationship with that would have been t the Tevis. So we're not using Tevis anymore. I'm gonna put auxiliary five and use that for a tachometer. That's gonna send signal to the tach, the sweeping of the RPM gauge. Um, so that's what that looks like. And I found the pin over here, since this was auxiliary five, right? On here, auxiliary five is number uh, 57 in the pin. So I found 57, re or pinned it there, or spliced into that, that wire. So then that ECU is gonna tell the tech where it needs to be. So that's all done. Let's go ahead and put this back in. Stick this in. So everything in the con computer side now is done. If I can see, there it is. And like I said, these wires, the one, two, one, two, three, and four to the coils, did the same thing. On the on the pins, uh, let's see, where is it? Ignition one. 20. Look for the 20 and put the coil uh, signal wire to 20. Same thing. Ignition 2, ignition 3, ignition 4. Found the pins for that and put those in uh, those spots. Now, what Gabe is doing from here, it's going to be hard to see. But in here, got a couple of wires. The red, the white wire with the red stripe, that's gonna be your 12 volt solar source. And I have a 12 volt source going from the, uh, to power up all the, the coils, which is this red wire. So the red one is gonna go right to here, to white and red. This black wire, that is going to be the tack signal going to or the RPM signal going to the computer and that's going to go to the black wire with red stripe. Then finally we have this black and yellow that is the ground for the coils and then that's going to go right here onto the uh, intake manifold that's going to ground it out. Once that's all done we're going to go to our handy dandy computers so Gabe has his up right now. We're gonna use his laptop to, uh, to uh, put in all the settings since we're just basically gonna use his. And this has this exact same setup as when I was running that same setup. Until I went bigger, uh, bigger stuff with, a, with cams, everything else. Um, but right now it's gonna be on a stock, everything. We might even install the boost control solenoid, the Mac valve, today, might, depending on time. But if it is, if we do, it's gonna be a super simple install. We just have to find a 12 volt source and um, splice into one of the wires in the computer, which would probably be, what, what number would it be? It'll be a, Auxiliary number three and auxiliary number three is for the wastegate and where's auxiliary three? Pin number 12. So if we end up doing that, that's going to be a signal wire to open up the, the Mac valve and it just needs 12 volts. Hook it up and he'll have a boost by gear, which is freaking awesome. What he had to do is take off his throttle body uh, spacer whatever you want to call that um, because his intake air temperature sensor is in the way uh, to put in all the coils mind you he's not doing the modifications yet on his valve cover he has another valve cover that he has that he's gonna modify once this is all in that way he could uh, 
measure and orient orientate the coils where he wants them to be. The coils are in. I uh, need to put the ground on here. Here's his car. I think we're actually keeping our blow off valve. So he's going to keep this this blow off valve, the fake tile, and I'm going to get keep the HKS. I don't know. We'll probably switch later on. We don't know. That's what we do. Trade the exhaust too. Trade exhaust also. So I trade random stuff. I actually have the titanium exhaust on mine. And Gabe has the Greddy of oh, Greddy. He has the Apexi GT exhaust. We don't know what we like yet. I want quiet, but my we determined that my car is just a loud, yeah. loud ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, exactly. We determined that my car is is just loud. So I can't just have the only quiet exhaust that I had was the HKS dual draggers, which I sold kind of miss it but it was a little it was a little restricting for power so uh, you know it's it's one of those things but we're hooking up the ground right now and we'll put the connectors on the coils retune or put my map one of my maps on the car and I'll show you what what um what numbers I'm using and uh, it should start it should all right so now we are in Gabe's car laptop here laptop there and um, I'm gonna give him numbers and I'll show you my numbers too so first we're gonna go into to hook up your tack. Okay, so go to auxiliary five. That's right. Auxiliary five. So we'll go to auxiliary five right over here. So double click auxiliary five. All right, and then on label on a function. Double click on the function and then look for TAC, TACO. TACO. Should be under the IC spray. You found it? Yep. Alright. Control save. Or save the save that setting. Is it saved? Alright, good. Next, let's go ahead and. Oh wait, what? This is TV something. Okay, you can double click that and just put taco or put tech. That's going to be the label for that. Okay. Now, go to if you can find. Go to auxiliary output ignition. So IGN. So on the Max, it actually says it doesn't have whatever I have the folders. I don't know why. But over here you'll see ignition drive. So ignition drive, it's already set to. Why is it not? Showing? Oh, you have to like. Okay, so that's already set to ignition. Same thing. So go back on the ECU settings. Look for that ignition drive again, and then you're going to do ignition for all one, two, three, and four. So function. Ignition that locks it in place. Same thing with number three and number four. So that's going to be a direct for your ignition. There you go. So that's all saved. Now save that onto your to your map. On mine, let's see if we can focus. Focus, focus. We are going to ignition. Go to your ignition and go to um, ignition. Ignition main. Ignition oh, main? Yeah, so ignition. Ignition setup. 
go to ignition main, go to uh, direct spark. So ignition mode, direct spark. Edge is falling, milliseconds. Go on ignition delay, 75. Spark duration, 1.0 milliseconds. And maximum advance is 45. Okay. Good. All right, so you're set there. Save that, perform the save. And then now, let me see what your trigger setup is. So there, go to triggers and then trigger setup. Multi-tooth trigger one default, perfect. Go to ECU or go to calibrate. All right, so trigger offset. Go to setup, set base. Go to degree before top dead center and 356. Good, and then on the number three adjust ignition timing is 75. Good. Okay, go to done. We're gonna make sure that everything good. Go ahead, do that sweep. There's the sweep. I don't know if you saw it, but we'll do it again later. So what happened was we didn't have power going in. I actually put, so I actually, I gave him the wrong wires to splice into. So on the coil harness, I needed to go to the black and red wire. That's the 12 volt source. And then the black wire is to the tachometer. So now we're gonna double check make sure everything is there so let's go do the test on number one see if we can hear it I can hear it it's hard to hear turn it off go to number two I hear it perfect I think we should get right there what was that little sound no it sounded like a fart I don't know car farted so let's go ahead since we know that it is talking to the computer. We saw the sweep. Let's go ahead and start her up with the COPs. Coil over plugs on Gabe's car. There we go. Seems like it's running. Has a little misfire. Hear something open. Oh shit. Oh vacuum line. Is somewhere. The uh, my boost controller. <laughs> Two boost controller. There you go. So much better. There we go. So what happened was was I had to switch some wires around again. I uh, put the wrong two and three in the wrong spot. So now it runs. And we're gonna have lunch. So she runs, she's good. And thank you for watching and until the next one.